Welcome to Mozambique Belito. Today we're going to be doing crayfish and prawn thermidor. Um, Zidru Manjata, our head chef from the Mozambique group, is going to be showing you how to do it. So first of all, he's going to start cleaning the crayfish. We're basically going to cut it straight down the middle and butterfly it. Preferably use a serrated blade, so it just helps cut through the shell. He's going to crack it straight through down the middle and slowly start to clean it out. Zidru's just going to butterfly them, get them nice and flat, and he's going to put it in the oven to steam for about five minutes. Okay, while the, the crayfish are steaming at the moment, I'm just going to show you what, how we're going to just chop this up. We're just cutting a bit of mushroom up, some onion for, um, for the crayfish and prawn thermidor. I just wanted to show you guys something here, just a little fun tip when it comes to cutting onions, so you don't, uh, sort of don't, uh, they don't break apart and stuff. Just straight through, cut it like that. If you look here, the onion won't move, so it won't fall apart while you're cutting it. Then you can just bang it straight through like this. And you just chop this up again. Onion done. Okay, so Fabio is now going to make the sauce. This is a crayfish and prawn thermidor. We use the prawn as well just to bulk the crayfish a bit because sometimes, you know, crayfish doesn't have a lot of meat in it. So we just bulk it up with the prawn just to make it a bit more of a substantial dish. Okay, it's going to kick it off because we're going to start on the high pressure burner. We're going to add some onion. Some slices of mushroom. We're going to add the prawn. Dish shell, clean prawn. So we've got a mixture here. Yeah, it's almost like bay spice from America. It's a mixture of um, black pepper, celery salt, um, and uh, paprika. So it's just softening those onions, caramelizing the, the onions, giving a nice flavor. They'll sweeten up quite nicely. Drops the flavor. I'm going to take out the crayfish now to steam, out of the steamer. Okay, you'll see how the crayfish are now steamed. We'll slowly clean them up now. We'll just pull the last bits out. And Fabio will now remove the, the meat to make up the thin. Now Fabio's going to remove the meat. So all you'll do now is just chop it up and add it to the mixture of the onion, the mushroom, and corn. You can see he leaves it quite chunky. So he adds the crayfish in. He's going to deglaze the pan with uh, the, the pan with brandy. And he'll flambe it a bit. He's going to add the cream. We use a double cream, imported from Ireland. Um, it just, it's, a, it's a much better quality cream than we, get, we find than we find in South Africa. He adds a touch of cheddar to it to, to thicken the sauce, and now he'll reduce the cream. A bit of parsley, and he'll season it with the base part. Okay, you'll drop the flame down and reduce the cream. We use mashed potato as a base on the bottom of the plates. It just holds the crayfish in place. Not really as a starch, but more as almost as a glue to hold it, hold the crayfish to the plate. Um, the crayfish shells with the crayfish and corn thermidor sauce. He's just going to pop some mashed potato. Okay. 
add a bit of cheddar cheese over the top. And we're going to gratinate in the salamander for about five minutes. We'll gratinate it up now. Just going to garnish it. Can I have some lemons there? Some kitchen towel, please. Okay. Cool. I want to crayfish and pork them at all. Set to. 